Hello everyone, Carol Parsons here at Magnolia Place. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in South Carolina and boy have I got the coolest thing for you today. I made this, so I don't know, a week or so ago and I've been fighting with internet that is not high speed trying to get a video done for you. This is the card front, all new products in the new catalog, but the wow factor well, the stamps are wow. They're that distinctive where some areas are light and dark and the images are gorgeous, but the big wow is on the inside because when you open this up, oh, it's 3D and it's two planter boxes. Is that not the cutest thing? This was a bear to figure out. I measured, I made templates out of scratch cardstock, but I got it. So, this video is going to be short, no longer than 15 minutes, and I'm going to focus on just constructing this part, because you can decorate the front of your card any way you like, and you can put whatever you like here. So, quickly, I need to go over a couple of supplies, all of the supplies, and a full written tutorial will be on my blog. But this is the new Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. Is this not the most gorgeous thing? Oh, when I saw it in the catalog, I swooned. And then these are the stamped images. Uh, there are dies to cut those out. And then there are dies to cut out these as well. Beautiful greetings. And two new embossing folders also go with this suite of products and these embossing folders are a little different they're not a full size they're a little bit bigger than half size and you get both in the set I have found this to be great fun the last uh, thing that I wanted to show you product wise are these and these are laser cut um, foil sheets and you just literally pull them out. There are beautiful, beautiful things on here. I haven't used that leaf yet, and boy, is that ever pretty. Look at that. All right, so you get one, two, I think three of this uh, bunch, and then you get three of these, and these are rectangles. Look at that. The inside is open, so you could put a greeting or a or an image stamped in there. Oh, they're so pretty. All right. Then, of course, the star of the show would be the stamp set, Forever Fern. Oop, and I shook my camera. I'm so sorry. I haven't done a video in quite a while. The dies, I keep mine in an empty um, case, stamp case, and I secure them with magnets. So that's why that looks that way. And I also used these. These are stitched rectangle dies. If you don't have these, these have to go on your must list. I bet I've used these a thousand times. Well, maybe 600 times. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the card that we're going to construct today is just like that one. I may have used some different colors. So on the inside, I have four by five and a quarter cardstock that's been embossed with the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. And again, I'll list all the products uh, on my blog. I'll put a link below the video. And on the front of this one, I'm going to put two layers. Uh, my base is the new Jade, Just Jade, excuse me. This is Pretty Peacock. The next one will be this layer. And remember on that em embossing folder, it does two patterns. And so the left one looks like it's cut off, and that's okay, because when I glue that, I'm going to put this gorgeous designer series paper right over there. So all you'll see is the right side. And then this time I've selected this piece of gold foil. And my sentiment, I just stamped some of the various greens found in the paper, put my sentiment on, die cut it with a circle die, or you could use a punch, 
and there that will be my cover. Okay, so for the inside, the heart of the matter. Uh, let's see, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to put this here. I think you can see that. I'm going to sit down and I have marks all over my desk to remind me where the camera is, so hopefully I won't go out of camera. All right. So for the small planter box, now I've already constructed the big one. So this is what the big one looks like, which is the same thing, just a little bit bigger size. And what the mechanism requires us to do is this is going to flatten when you close the card. It will flatten this way. Then when you open it, it will pop open like this, okay? This is constructed the same way those um, card in a box are done. That's what that was called. All right, so we need, for the small planter box, we need uh, front and back pieces of cardstock that measure one and a half by two. You need two of those because you're going to have a front and a back, right? And we need two side pieces. And the side pieces are two by two and a half. And you're going to score them at a half an inch on either end like this. Okay. And what I always do when I construct anything that looks like a box is I miter the ends. Can you see? Just, you're taking a sliver off. See the shape there? Kind of a piece of pie. I wouldn't want to eat that piece of pie, though, because it's awfully tiny. All right. Now we're good to go. So remember that the two pieces that have these little score lines on them are the sides. So on my small one, I want designer series paper to be on the front, which is this, and one of the sides, this side. So I'm going to adhere those now. And I have done the most brilliant thing. I got the idea from another demo. The uh, fine tipped glue that we sell, the applicator is amazing. But I'm a messy gluer. And I need to be able to use my glue eraser, because I really am a messy gluer, and the fine tip glue applicator doesn't allow, the glue that's in it is very shiny and it does not erase with the glue eraser. But I love this glue, the mono liquid glue. This is my favorite all time glue ever, any, any company. When this ran out, I filled it back up with this glue. So now I have the perfect glue with the perfect applicator. All right, so this is our side and this is our front. So I'm going to, I'm trying to do this really quickly. I've already done this video once and it was 24 minutes, I forgot the clock. So I have a clock sitting next to me. We're out in the country here in South Carolina and we don't have high speed internet. So uploading something that's a half an hour out here to YouTube all night, and it still wasn't uploaded. And that's after I compressed it. Okay. And then for the other side, you might be better if you lay it down flat to glue it. It makes it a little bit less messy. All right, there you've got your second collapsible box. And the other big tip I have is putting these inserts inside. This is where your plants are going to be adhered. Let me find my finished one and I'll show you. See those little tabs? That's where you're gluing your plants. 
it's easier to glue them when they're in this position than once you have it attached to your card. I'm impatient, so ask me how I know. All right, so you want to put the first one, I'd say about an eighth of an inch down. You don't want it flush with the top, but not very deep because you want your plants to stick up and show. That's good. You see? And if it's a little crookedy, it's okay. It's not an exact science like the measuring was to get all this to fit. That's definitely for somebody with a left brain, but I was determined I wanted to make this card. I saw one very much like it. Well, just about the same thing. Uh, done by an Australian demo, although her finished card was much larger. So I had to determine all the measurements and sizes to make an A2 card, which is what we use here in the U.S. All right, now we want to adhere this box. Now remember, when the card opens, this is going to lay flat. So I'm going to kind of train it and get it used to laying flat. Right and the back. We want to glue the back. Okay. And you want to go maybe an inch from the top and almost to that score line on your card base. It's probably a good idea to go over it with your bone folder to make sure you get a good adhesion. That's it. Now when it folds, it's going to lay flat, open back up. In a minute, we're going to adhere this to this side of the card. So when it opens, it won't stay flat like that. It will pop it right back out. Now the next step, I've already done this box. We're going to glue this one down to the card front and to the side of this one. So you want to start lining up on the bottom of the card base. You want this to sit flush with the bottom. And again, I'd use a bone folder. Give you some good adhesion. All right. Now, see how there's a gap? That wouldn't look good. So we want to secure this to this. Looks like it's about that far down. And look, I forgot. Don't go all the way to the edge like I just did there. All right. Let me get a little makeup remover thing here. And I get the glue off. All right, there we go. Now. Beautiful. All we need to do is adhere the side to the front of the card. Oops. Okay, do it this way with the bone folder. I swear, y'all, if you don't have a bone folder, you need one. Remarkable gizmos. There. Now, the minute you open the card, oops, <laughs> I know, right? Remarkable gizmo. I didn't give it enough time to set. Even the miraculous Tombow glue needs a couple seconds here. There we go. Close the card, and you open it up. It's automatically popped open. Now, on the inside, I used the stitched rectangle dies to make a layer and then uh, the stitched rectangles again to do a layer of white. And I stamped the leaves around the outside, whatever colors are in the paper that you like. And then the next step is just to glue leaves and die cuts in those spaces. And I have a bunch cut out in all the greens that can be found in that paper. So the entire um, list of measurements, all the 
details will be written on my blog. And all you have to do to complete it is glue your leaves. And you're going to cut and break apart. Glue them inside, down the front, and you're done. Please check out my blog. Happy to see you today. Bye.